Eastern Security Network. The Eastern Security Network also known as ESN is the paramilitary wing of the indigenous people of Biafra. A secessionist movement whose aim is to break away from Nigeria and see the emergence of the independent state of Biafra. According to Mazi Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, the creation of the Eastern Security Network was born out of the necessity to safeguard lives and properties of indigenous people in the southeastern part of the country, who were being attacked frequently by Fulani herdsmen, a group that has been designated by the United States of America as the fourth deadliest terrorist group in the world. After calls by members of the indigenous people of Biafra, on the governors of the southeastern states to provide a regional security outfit to tackle the menace of Fulani herdsmen in the region fell into deaf ears. Mazi Namdi Kanu came up with the Eastern Security Network. The ESNS stated goal is to combat Fulani raiders in the areas of the former eastern region of Nigeria. The ESN was founded by Mazi Namdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. On the 12th of December 2020 and commenced operations almost immediately following his proclamation of its creation in a broadcast. The IPOB hierarchy have long stated they have no intention of going on. If push comes to shock, will you go to war? No, because truth is a far more important and deadlier weapon than bullets and mortars. So, so no war? You've ruled out the... Absolutely no war. But many of the movement's followers have long disagreed with that position believing that the frequent crackdown on the group by the Nigerian army and police justifies them taking up arms to defend themselves. This was especially after the clampdown during the Operation Python Dance when an attack on the home of Mazi Namdi Kanu in Afaroku Ibiku resulted in dozens of the group's members' death in the disappearance of the Mazi Namdi Kanu himself whom men feared had been killed by the army. Formation. Namdi Kanu, the leader of IPOM, announced the formation of the ESN on the 12th of December, 2020. With the aim of protecting the indigenous population of Nigeria's southeast region against Fulani herdsmen and Fulani militias. The Fulani herdsmen lately have been on the news for invading of people's farmlands, fighting with and killing of the owners of the farm and even kidnapping of people in their farmlands. There are several reports of the Fulani herdsmen clashing with farmers in different regions of the country. Nigerians have been calling on the federal government to take practical steps to forestall these happenings but nothing has been done. When you have a situation where your own tribe is being accused of something now you must be able to look into it and make it transparently clear that that accusation is unfounded or if it's founded you deal with it the there have been well herdsmen uh, 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 farmers now herdsmen are mainly fulani nothing has been done rather than doing something about it what we are having is okay we will create colonies cattle colony where will you create colony in nigeria is it in my own part of the country that you will now make a colony who will give you land to create colony within his own the Inspector General of Police and the President of the Nigeria have once said that the rampaging herdsmen are not Nigerian but foreigners who cross into the country through the wide land borders. In the northern part of the country, some Nigerians believe the federal government is aiding the Fulani herdsmen either directly or indirectly by keeping silent over the continuous attacks carried out by the herdsmen. Yesterday, in London, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria and the President of Nigeria said that these killings were as a result of the people who were trained by the late Muammar Gaddafi. And so, implying 
that these people who are doing these killings in Nigeria are invaders from outside of Nigeria. And if, they, if he says that they are invaders from outside of Nigeria, what it means is that it now validates my last point on this floor. When a commander in chief says that he cannot take care of invaders invading Nigeria, why is he still a commander in chief? On the 15th of February, 2020, Governor of Delta State decried renewed attacks by herdsmen who were accompanied by unidentified armed military personnel while they attacked some communities in Delta State in what has become a regular routine, killing over eight persons and injuring many others. These were some of the reasons pointed by Mazi Namdi Kanu on why it has become necessary for him to float the regional security outfit, ESN. However, the Nigerian government saw the establishment of ESN as a threat to Nigeria's sovereignty and promised to crush the group. The Eastern Security Network issued a 20. Mazi Namdi Kanu, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, gave the governors of southeast Nigeria 14 days to ban open grazing, threatening to deploy the ESN to enforce the ban if the authorities did not do so. In less than two weeks, some of the governors responded by banning open grazing. In the region, the formation of the Eastern Security Network was also applauded by the diaspora Igbos. 